Hi guys, so let's have a look at removing the white background from a JPEG image, JPG image, for sublimation and crafting, and well, for any sort of design you want to do, and all you have is the JPG, and something you want to remove the background from, or the background colour, and just leave the outline of the image there. Great for sublimation. So let's have a look. Load your JPG image, and I'll provide this image in the Downloads folder, or you can use any similar image you like. Removing the background colour from an image in Designer can seem an impossible task to begin with. Where do you go? But here we are. A few simple strokes of the built-in tools can give you a clean JPG image in just a few strokes. So, load your image. Supplied in the Downloads section on my website, and it's called... 10.jpg. How simple is that? Okay, load the JPG image, immediately duplicate it and lock and hide the first original. That's just in case you mess it up and you can't get back to wherever you downloaded the other one from. I just, it's just a good habit. Don't work on the original, always work on a copy. It's also a good idea at this stage to save it now as something like 10-1 and save it as an Affinity Designer file. That way you can come back to it later without messing with the original. Don't overwrite the original and don't export it at this stage. Just save it as a file wherever you normally save your designer files. I always save them to the iCloud and they're there whatever device you're using then. So, now with this method on the outside of the image only, you could just use the selection brush because we're going to start with just doing the outside the image. Most images you come to, you'll just need to remove the area around the image. Now, select the pixel persona in Designer. I'm using an iPad here, but it works exactly the same um, on the desktop version, on Mac or, or um, Windows. Select the pixel persona. Now, select the smart selection brush tool that's just below the bit bucket there with the brush selected set the brush size to about 30 pixels in this case because you don't want it too massive um, you want some control over it it really depends on your image as well but i find 30 pixels um, is pretty good now tap the brush on the white background and look for the crawling ants it may not select the whole area at once, so just be careful and look closely at what you're doing and see where the crawling ants are. They're so cool because the dotted lines seem to crawl around the image looking for all the world like lines of ants. And you can see them there if you look closely, the little dotted lines. Go right around the outside of the image. They don't go on the inside of the image. Now you can see because it's a JPG file, look carefully at this, it's been enlarged, then it's got the jaggies. Never mind, we're not worried about that because it is a JPG image. It's not um, an SVG file. Now, with the selection process complete, I've gone right around the four quadrants there. You can see that there's four sections, top left and right and bottom left and right. Tap the Refine tool to colour the image with the Refine mask. Paint, you know, carefully paint over any imperfections that you have. I'm sure you know how to do that by now. And when satisfied, tap Apply. Now select Edit. That's the three dots at the top on the, um, on the iPad. Select the Edit tool and select Cut. No copy, paste, invert or anything. Just cut. And presto. Your background is gone. But wait, I hear you say. What about inside the pumpkin? Well, in this case, we need to remove the white from there as well. If, you, if that's as far as you want to go, then select the tools and select deselect so you haven't got the lines all around the edge of your design anymore. Deselect means the lines go away. But we're going to look at removing the white from inside the pumpkin. Now this is another method of removing the colour and you could have used this outside the pumpkin as well but I wanted to show you both methods. We can actually remove a colour 
from the JPG by another method. Hmm, the same but different. So let's see what it is. Select the Flood Selection tool and tap on the white of a segment of the pumpkin. The crawling ants appear and select only the white. Now the Flood Selection tool is just below that bucket. You can see the, above the red arrow there there's a little um, brush. Below that there's a circle and then there's the Flood Selection tool. It looks like a sort of a magic wand I guess. But look for it in your menu, Flood Selection Tool, easy to find. Have the pixels about the same, maybe smaller. If you're going to do inside those dots as well, then you need smaller. Repeat the previous steps, refine and apply. So when you refine, make the selection, tap refine and tap apply. If you forget to tap apply, well, it won't work, of course. Refine, apply, go back and cut. Repeat the process to remove more of the white. In this case, I've left the white dots in place for emphasis later on. And you can see there's a couple of bands of the pumpkin I've left in place as white as well. But if you just tap around the place, one little tap from that tool and around it goes and selects the white areas. Refine apply and cut. Simple as that. And if you want you can put a green background now behind the whole thing. With all of the background removed we can now deal with the image as we like. It's that easy. So enjoy the little tutorial. That's all there was to it. Removing the white background or any colour background for that matter from a JPG image. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the thumbs up to like. Thank you very much.